Hi, it's uh, Bini here. Thanks a lot for joining the session. Um, today, we are having the Zoom session as well as streaming live to YouTube. For those who are with me in YouTube, um, just like to check that you can hear me. If yes, please give me a response. Have you had your dinner yet? How about you guys um, in uh, Zoom? Have you had your dinner yet? All right, now um, just let me start the session now, right, while waiting for some of you to be here. In case the Zoom is full, all right, then you can join me uh, and watch the live stream in YouTube. The link, uh, I'm just going to attach it here again. All right, so let me just attach the link here. Okay, so um, the objective today is to talk about Tor, the alien wash, which is also to introduce to you what is wash and beans. Um, there will be two channels of interaction, which is via the Zoom chat as well as via the YouTube chat. All right, so I'm just going to respond to your question there. Uh, uh, do bear with, bear, bear with me because the Zoom is a little bit uh, delayed for 20 seconds, so I might just answer your question a little bit later. All right, uh, if you look at the slides here, uh, it's about preview because I have a course and then um, there is this promotion, which is a full course fee refund. Okay, meaning that if you can meet the criteria, the full cost fee of $700 will be refunded back into your trading account. All right, it is fine not to take the course because then um, there will be this free module that you can take the free ones. All right. Um, the objective today is really to introduce to you what is wash and wins and this new phenomena that's occurring. Hopefully, it's going to help with your trade. Uh, that's my intention. But in case that you do want to explore further, then the promotion is until 31st of December. All right. Meaning that the entire full cost fee of $700 will be refunded just to let you know today's objective. I try to make it as educational as possible however there are certain questions i can't answer not because i don't want to answer i love to answer all your questions regarding the trade system but um the system is very much in depth okay there is really no way that i can answer that in just in one hour session uh, giving you a little bit right and thinking that you might have understood it's going to be detrimental to your trading as well as uh, you know your your performance okay i don't want to do this okay so please understand that uh, but try to understand this phenomenon which is called wash and rinse all right so let me just get started uh, if you do have questions please ask me uh, along the way all right okay now here we go agenda for today is i'm just going to explain what is wash and rinse and then you might have attended my other sessions before um, I have refreshed the chart to include what happened last week, meaning the wash and means that happened last week. All right. And um, how we trade with Tor, which is the alien wash, which is how we spot uh, with wash and means uh, and um, how we, uh, you know, use a certain bit of an automations to help us find these trades. Now, the trades that I'm going to focus here will be generally more into Forex into uh, oil into gold into indices okay so for those who are um, looking at stocks yes i'm still i'm also doing stocks but the focus will be less here because um the automations has been developed for this program which is called meta trader all right so later i'll be showing you the automations as well okay then of course i'm just gonna spend uh, about 10 minutes to talk about the cost Again, I hope that you can consider the course. If not, just take the free module, all right? Um, the free module will give you a deeper uh, in-depth into what is wash and means. All right, so let's talk about the TOR system. So what we have in the TOR system here, all right, is that we have developed all these automations, okay? Tools, I would, I would really say tools because um, tools is something that helps us to trade better. Uh, not because that, you know, it plots the buy and sell signal for us, but if you take a look at um, the modern world of trading right now, right, you realize that there are, there are certain things which happen, which, which are happening right now and you don't see in the past. In the past could be, let's say, five years ago or even 10 years ago. All right. So we need all these tools so that it can help us see things better. Okay. Again, that there are so many things to trade. Um, you know, when I first started, I started with the OTC, 
of the Malaysian market that's available in Singapore. So we only have like one market, uh, which is the Malaysia club and as well as Singapore stocks right to trade. But right now, with one single broker, you could literally be trading over the world like US, Hong Kong, China, uh, you know, Forex, etc. So many things. And therefore, how do you find all these trades here? And that's where the automations help. Okay, myself, I'm not using 100% automations. I still want to make decisions. I still want to have control. I don't want machines to take over. But it does free me 95% of the time to look for trades. Okay, so today I will focus on one um, indicator that I'm using, all right, uh, which is Tor 3.0. And um, you can also get the uh, free trial of Tor 3.0 that draws uh, wash and wins. All right. Okay, so let's um, have a little bit of interaction. Uh, if you have attended my earlier sessions, I know that uh, you have seen this chart. So let's play along. But then for those who haven't, haven't and then uh, please try to guess uh, what might be happening here. Uh, my intention is to teach you what is wash and wins, okay? How to identify them, all right? So take, take a look at the candle, which is marked in blue, okay? I'm just going to circle this, not really circle, but I'm just going to mark it here, this candle here, all right? What are you going to do here? Okay, are you more likely to buy here at this candle or more likely to sell? Oh, you can't do anything. You can't, you can't do nothing, okay? You have to do something, all right? So that's the game, okay? Are you more likely to buy or more likely to sell? Okay, I know that I covered certain things up and you can't see, okay? But there are certain guides, guidelines to help you, such as, for example, we can see that previously it has been going up, down, up, down. So it seems to be following this pattern here, right? Up, down, up. Okay. So this seems to be up. And then here seems to be down for a further up again. If we follow the sequence. All right. So that's like trend, isn't it? Okay. Okay. How about the rents of you? Are you more likely to be uh, buying at the blue candle or more likely to be selling? Okay. I can see some buys and some sell, right? Okay. Uh, perhaps that for those who think that you are going to sell that because you have attended the session <laughs> okay doesn't matter all right so let me just do a bit of a guide here okay just just as, as a bit of a uh uh you know uh simulation all right so if you take a look at this white color candle here right, you might be looking at potentially that price has broken above a high okay so this is high here and maybe it has broken this high as well okay and broken this all-time high or maybe the recent high okay so many many highs has been broken all right so therefore people might be looking to buy and at the same time if you start to look at the the height of the candle meaning the body right the body of this candle here you know that hey look this is not a um you know a slight close that shows the bullishness okay so there's quite a, a, what we call a full bar even though there's a little bit of a tail here but it's fine you know you, you, if you take a look at the body right so it's it's quite substantially above this high here okay so a lot of people would be looking to buy as a continuation to this uptrend here okay but now the world is a little bit different okay what do i mean by a little bit different now we also know one technique, which is to uh, look to the past, okay? Meaning that to look to the past and we realize that, hey, look, not only that, this buy was very, very energetic, but this buy was leading towards what we call a resistance. That means that if you draw the high here, you can look left, okay? And look left and you realize that there's a whole series of a resistance here. I know that you can't see everything, but you know, we had a previous high here. So what the machine are able to do is that they are able to detect all this high very quickly, all right? And then we humans might see it, sometimes we might not be able to see that. Okay, so when you have a lot of automations, all right, you realize a lot of time when price moved, okay, many times it would just move like it's the end of the world, meaning that, oh, it's so bullish until you are so confident. But then what happens subsequently? Okay, subsequently, it might just immediately flip the other side and turn down. Okay, have you, have you experienced this before? 
okay now if you have experienced this before you realize that this is not new why is that so a lot of time a lot of machines a lot of automations including a lot of automations that i've programmed for my client have been built to have this very very aggressive behavior but in the end we are actually unloading the position okay no now so therefore take a look at what happened subsequently let me just get my pen and then show it to you okay so this was the subsequent result here so instead of it actually going up okay when we are faced with a very strong resistance but this time around the resistance didn't give any clue what happened during that very strong resistance was that the market created this very very super energetic long bar to as if that it is trapping people to um you know continue to to jump in all right you realize that when you jump the next moment it just flipped the other side so these are very very common all right so what do i call this okay i call this white color bar here all right as a w okay why is this a w because i do not know that this is going to be a wash bar okay but i call this a wash bar because as long as price can close above a previous high so it's as simple as that as long as price can close above a previous high so this would be to me a wash bar this bar is going to be in the bullish zone okay however with this line that i'm going to draw in which is exactly this green color line which is to draw based on the high of the previous bar okay as long as price cannot stay above this wash line so this green line i call that a wash line okay so as long as price cannot stay above the wash line and it moved below this wash line all right so this bar here which is this black color bar is going to call a rinse bar okay then a lot of wash and rinse is going to be very common all right behaving in this manner very energetic bullish bar or very very energetic bearish bar but it happens near to what we call a key levels okay very important key levels this is just one of the location that i'm sharing with you okay so remember when price has been pushed up and price cannot maintain the wash line and how to draw this wash line this wash line would be just to draw that on the previous bar high okay so for example if it's let's say a bullish wash and means right which i'm going to show it to you later right then you will be drawn just on the previous bar low okay so i'm just going to draw you that bearish wash and means first okay because today i'm just going to talk about can we spot that sell that happens last week because of the new covid variant all right so therefore this is what we call a wash bar and you just have to draw a horizontal line just one horizontal line all right before on the bar high that's before it okay so we have the wash line and when price close back below this wash line then this black color bar here would be called a rinse okay so that's simply wash and rinse all right okay so yes it can be used in um uh, any time frame but it is best used if you can use it in the day time frame and you can casket lower so we trade in the multiple time frame so for our own trading we are trading in the day and then the week and then our trigger would be in the h4 so later i can explain that a little bit more all right so let me just continue this one here um okay now so this is the outcome of the trade right which is actually in gold okay so i'm just going to show you the bigger picture here the full picture so this was that wash bar that you we we we, we had yet just now so that's the w okay and then this is the rinse bar all right and then that's the wash line you can see this tiny little bit of green line here that's the wash line that's automatically plotted now take a look at this um pick here a red color marking here all right so each of this is being plotted by tor 3.0 which draws you automatically that wash and rinse okay so you can just download the trial version to try it that means that you can have it plotted into your your chart you can get the wash and rinse okay so let's let's do a little bit of a re revision again do you see this um um almost like very very bullish bar here so that's a white color 
Okay, so I know that it's very small, but we're going to draw that later on in some bigger charts later. All right, so therefore, we just have to take a look at this one. We ask whether there is a close above the previous high. Okay, and if yes, we can draw in the wash line. And if it doesn't stay above the wash line, it flipped the other side. Okay, so that's when we had the rinse bar. Okay. All right, now take a look at this one again. All right, so this one here, this W, all right, it closed above the previous high. All right, so we can just draw the wash line. And as long as price stay above it, there's no wash and rinse, okay? But if price closed below that wash line, then we're going to have the wins bar. So this is a W. Okay, so this is R. So you guess correctly, all right? You guess correctly because that a wins, a wash bar is only confirmed only when the wins bar has appeared, okay? All right, so uh, one of the questions is how we know that it is the higher bar and draw from previous bar. No, we always, always draw on previous bar. That means that, let's say for example, okay, take a look at, uh, let me just show it to you later, okay? So uh, you, you always will know because then we will look for wash and rinse at a specific location, right? One of the specific location would be near to a very obvious uh, resistance, right? But anyway, uh, as, I, as I said just now, the rinse bar and the wash bar will only be confirmed when the rinse has appeared. Okay, so let me just summarize what is wash and rinse here. Now, wash and rinse, wash, it's like a fake move that often result in losses. So it's like, for example, when you bought in something, all right? And so instead of it going up, so after you bought, you hope that it can go up, right? So instead of it going up, you will keep on going down. Okay, so this is a possible wash bar. So it's like a fake move that is going to result in the losses. Okay, then after that, you can't, you can't endure anymore. Okay, you, you cut your losses. After you cut your losses, you will move up as if that nothing ever happened. Have you tried this before? Yes, huh? I think so. Yes. Some of you are telling me that this happened to you before. So what is the maximum of bars in between WR to make this valid? There's no maximum. Wash and rinse is very, very valid. The only thing is that the minimum bar would be a wash bar and a rinse bar. So the minimum would be two bars. All right. But there is no maximum. And wash and rinse can be used in any time frame, whether it is week or whether it is month or whether it is day. All right. So if you can use it in the higher time frame, all right, and then trade it in the lower time frame, it is going to be very profitable. Okay. So let's take a look at this example here. So this is a trade that just happened, recently, recently happened. All right. Uh, I'm not going to let you know what trade it is, but just going to do one more exercise. Okay. Same thing. All right. At this bar here. Okay, I'm just going to mark it for you. This one, this green color one. Okay, this green color one. All right. What are you going to do? Are you more likely to buy or more likely to sell? What do you think? Give me your response. More likely to buy or more likely to sell? Yes, I can see some of the responses coming in. <laughs> Why sell? It's so bullish, right? It's such a white color bullish bar, isn't it? Okay. Now, some of you might be drawing in like a trend line here. So one of the things that a lot of textbook will teach, all right, is to draw a trend line. I know that my line will not be look good because I'm using a pen to draw, but the whole idea is here. Okay, a lot of people would be looking for buy, especially the trend is up, isn't it? Yes, some of you might 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 think that it is going to be a, a trick question. I know. Okay, okay. So therefore, but I what my intention is take a look at this white color bar here. Even though you, you know that this might be a trick question, but take a look at this white color bar. When you are trading at it, don't you think this is an ultra super bullish bar where the close is right to the top? So if you were to study, let's say, the breakout theory or if you study, uh, let's say, for example, the candlestick theory, all right, then you would know that this is a super bullish bar because price closed right at the top, right? Okay. 
Okay, now the world is very different. Trading is very different right now. Okay, so even though, even though you might be buying, what I need you to understand is I need you to be able to react, to be able to know when you are wrong. Okay, so therefore today we talk about when you are wrong and when you need to, let's say, reverse your position. I know that sometimes psychology-wise, you can't reverse your position. Uh, at least you know when you're going to cut loss. Okay, so take a look at this, this one here. So because this current bar, the one that I mark in, had a close, okay, above a previous high. So we are able to draw in a wash line here. All right, so this is the wash line. Now, which also means that if I were to take a look at this bar here, which I'm going to mark it at one, okay? Now, one versus zero, because one had a closed above the previous high, which is zero high, all right? Therefore, I can draw in a wash line here. So this is how we draw the wash line, okay? And this is what we call a W question mark. Okay, we are not sure whether this is going to be a wash bar, but in any case, we will know one thing, all right? As long as price close back below the wash line, then the wash and wins will happen, okay? Now, let's say, for example, if price is to close back below uh, the wash line, okay, so let's say, for example, if price is to close back below the wash line, what happened to people who bought here? How would they feel for people who bought in here if price is to close back below the wash line? What do you think they will, they will feel? Or what will happen to them for people who bought in at this number one here? Yes, whether they cut loss or not, I don't know. But there's one thing for sure. All right, they will be making a loss. Okay, they will feel very painful, they will be making a loss, and then they would be scrambling to do something. I'm not sure what they will do, but at least, you know, if you have your cut loss plan, you will be actually cutting a loss. Okay, so two observations here. Number one, this was a very, very solid bar. So the market is no longer the same. Okay, no longer the same. All right, because they could trick you by making a super solid bar. But what you need to know is you need to know when is your risk point and where is your risk point, all right? So therefore, this wash line is going to be a risk point here, okay? So sometimes I'm not saying the old theory doesn't work. I'm not saying the breakout theory doesn't work, but I just want to bring to your attention that such things called wash and rinse, okay? So let's see what happens. So this was a live trades that we had. And I brought this live trades up uh, very, very often. And this is a trade, right? So this one was the wash bar here. Okay, so for those who guessed that it was a sell, congratulations, because then we had this rinse bar that happened immediately. Okay, so there's one of the question to ask, how many bars in between must there be? Okay, um, it can be as many, but the minimum would be a rinse bar that's two, uh, sorry, a wash and a rinse, so there will be minimum two, okay? Th there's no restriction to the maximum number. Okay, you can see this rinse bar immediately, it happened, all right, where price came back down. You can't be averaging down because this one had a huge drop, okay? Later, I will let you know what this pair is because then we had a trade in, in this particular pair, all right? Some will look at high side and say, hey, look, there could be a resistance here. Okay, you will, you will always look at hindsight and say, hey, look, there could be a resistance here, there could be a resistance here. Um, I'm actually uh, facing a very strong resistance here, etc. But when we are trading it, then trading it live real, you realize that there is a genuine move that we can make based on how bullish this bar is. All right, and that is really a very bullish move that can result in a buy. Okay, all right. So how do we know that the rinse has happened? A rinse has happened if price close back below, close below that wash line. Okay, so therefore this is the wash line. Okay, now I want to bring to your attention <clears throat> that the washed right now can be very vicious and the rinse can be very vicious. Okay, you know that the market is not going to be very kind to you because it can just go like 100% flip, moved up like super bullish. Then the next day, move down like super bearish, okay?
All right, so this is something that you need to know, and it 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 keeps recurring this kind of pattern. Okay, so you might also tell me that this looks like a uh, engulfing uh, candle. Yes, it does. It looks like, but watch that means it's a lot more than that because it doesn't restrict itself to any candlestick pattern. So later we're gonna take a look at more example here. Yes, so if another bar that's higher than the wash bar, right, then you will keep redrawing, right, until there is a rinse bar happening. Okay, again, as, as I said, right, um, there's a specific locations that we look for a rinse or wash, wash and rinse pattern. So, for example, for this case here, we look for them and we sort of anticipated there could be a wash and rinse. Partly, this guy here was near to this high, which is also an all time high for this particular fellow, all right. Um, and a lot of news flow was just talking about how nice this, this, uh, you know, this, uh, particular pair, uh, is and going to be, but, uh, unfortunately it just had a wash and rinse. Okay. All right. So let me just continue. There is a wash and rinse before the pick, but it still goes up. Yes. For example, before the peak here, yes, let me just explain that because when we look at wash and rinse, we look at a specific location, okay, as I mentioned this one. So not all the wash and rinse can be used, not all of them it's good. So we look at a specific location, all right? So therefore, this is something that uh, what I need to bring to emphasis to you, all right? Okay, so let's continue here, right? So this is another one more example. Okay, same thing going back into um, this fellow here, right? So at this point, let me just ask you guys, at this point, what do you want to do, buy or sell? Okay, just give you a little bit of a, of a um, you know, uh, an analysis, right? Why, number one, so the price was at the high here, so this was a high, so more like resistant price broke above it and then at this point price is or was retracing towards the resistance okay so price was retracing towards the resistance and we have the stochastic for example one of the typical indicator that um that we don't really use because we don't use indicators for our system all right for tor but in any case that you want to use it it's at what we call the oversold region okay so at this point of time i can see a lot of responses are looking for buy right okay so i i totally agree with you guys that you can be looking for buy okay but let's do a bit of a preparation here okay just a bit of a preparation okay number one is that uh, let's focus only on the uh, bearish wash and rinse, okay? Just focus on the bearish wash and rinse, right? So in any case, let's say you bought in. Do you see this bar here? So this is a possible wash. Why is that so? Because price had a close above the previous high, okay? Do you agree with me? And I will be able to draw in the wash line here, okay? So that's the wash line, all right? Okay, so what does it mean? It means that if price can stay above the wash line like this and continue to go up, then it will be a good buy. Okay, so how do I know that I will be wrong? How do I know that my trade will be wrong? Okay, so that's the question. Okay, how do I know that the trade will be wrong? What will happen? Meaning that how do I know the trade is going to be a sell or at least I'm going to cut my loss if I bought in? Any response? What do you think? Yes, when it goes below the wash line. So in this traditional um, framework, right, where we have price landing on a very strong support, all right, and we have price onto, let's say, an oversold in terms of indicator. All right, we will be buying, but for us, what we will always do is that, yes, we will still adopt that purchase, okay, meaning that we will still adopt that buy stand, okay, but in terms of a bullish, let me just draw in the bullish wash and rinse, bullish, all right, WR, so this is how we draw a bullish WR, we will always, always quote our lines, okay, so for bullish WR, 
the line that we use to code is actually a magenta line. So how do we draw this bullish WR? We take a look at this black color line here. So we call this a W. Why is that so? As long as price can close below a previous low, like this, we will be drawing in a W. Okay, all right. Then if price stays below this wash line here, WL wash line here, right, then you will continue to be bearish. Okay, but the point that when it flip back up, then we will be initiating a buy using the lower time frame. Okay, so you can see that now the time frame comes in as different. Why is it different? Because then to us, this is a correct location to choose a buy. Why? Because price is near to a strong uh, resistance that is now turning as a support. But our purchase will always be to use what we call the higher time frame, okay, as a lead. But we always cascade that to the lower time frame. So this is where we can have a tighter stop loss. And if price moves in our favor, then we're going to have a lot more money. Okay, but in any case, if it fail, then that will become an easy cut loss for us. Okay, so yes, we're going to have a buy signal here and the buy would be somewhere near to the bottom. Okay, so that's something that um, is very important. But because of the ability to be flexible, we are also able to draw in the green color wash line, which represent a sell. So this is our green color wash line, meaning that if price doesn't hold above that green color wash line, all right, and it closed back below, that will becomes our sell trade. Okay, so this is how flexible we use wash and rinse. And let's let's um uh, uh take a look at what happened. I just put in a Bollinger Band to let you know, or rather to to convince you guys that it is a buy. Okay, because then we are at the low of the Bollinger. All right. But what really happens is that there are two sets of lines to be drawn. Number one, the same, the same chart. Huh? I'm just going to draw in the lines for you. Number one, we are drawing this magenta line here. So this is a buy for us because this is a wash. Then here will be a rinse. Okay. So our buy would be to go to the lower time frame to find an entry. Okay, next is that let's say after we bought in, all right, because of the concept of wash and rinse, we will be able to draw in another one more set of lines, which is this one here. Okay, because price had closed above the previous high, but landed into the zone of resistance. Okay, can you see that? That's a, a bit of a zone of resistance. However, when we are really trading at that point of time, we do not know that this resistance is going to be valid because there can be tons and tons of resistance out there, but we just do not know which one is going to be valid. So therefore, we're just going to anticipate that there could be a resistance here. But if price close below this wash line, the green set, then it will result in a sell signal. So we will be, if let's say, for example, this is the bar that goes down like this. Okay. Then that becomes this place here in the lower time frame, a place for us to enter a sell. Okay. So I'm just going to pause here a little bit for you to absorb because it's not easy to rewire a little bit on the new thinking. All right. But the idea is that the market is no longer the same. Okay. When price move, they will not form this very nice dodgy for you to pause. Okay. For example, they would be having this very long bar here that's going to trap a lot of people to be buying near at the high. All right. So in fact, that price stayed two days here. And finally, if there could be a wash and rinse, by moving lower, that becomes a sell for us. If it doesn't, it will continue to be a buy for us and we're going to continue to stay in this trade here. Okay, so just I pause this for a while for you to let me know if there's any questions. Okay, seems that you guys are all right. All right, so now I'm just going to continue. All right, okay. So this is the outcome of the trade. And as you know, this is oil. Okay, so I'm just revealing to you what's really happened. So this is US oil, which is CFD contract of oil. All right, so we traded twice on the wash and rinse here. One was this wash and then the rinse. Okay, so that's the wash and rinse. All right, so this was a sell signal for us. The second time that we traded was the long side, the buy side. Okay, somewhere around here. 
okay but uh we we do not really prefer to trade alongside i will explain later what happened the the, the real trade for us was to sell this here okay so that means that price moved up that will be the wash and then this one will be the rinse okay so we traded on the short side here all right uh let me just erase this one okay now the next question would be huh are you telling me to sell at the end of this long bar okay is it is it so no we don't do that as i explained that in order to make sure that you can avoid a lot of noises in order to make sure that your trade is going to have a big move an explosive one we always always use the higher time frame so this is like a trick okay so some people can make a lot of money by doing a little bit of things some people have to do a lot of times trade a lot for a long long while and you realize that the person is not really very profitable okay one is the difference here all right the big move the more substantial movement will always always lie in the higher time frame okay what is the higher time frame here by definition when we talk about let's say commodity go crypto okay even crypto or forex or indexes okay i'm not talking about stocks huh? but just these few major instruments the higher time frame will always be something like a day uh, let me just get my pen a day so this is the higher time frame or a week okay so we always use this sorry use this two higher time frame all right as a guide all right but we will cascade lower to trade in what we call a hourly time frame so it can be four hour or it can be a one hour so this is almost like something that you will read in books right but then i would really say that this is one of the biggest secret you can find all right or rather tips that you really want to incorporate in your trading uh, system and this is what we do okay all right so to answer you yes we answer we trade and enter into the lower time frame so our entry was somewhere around here all right so by friday when it happened all right because of this long bar down we have we have like exited okay because there's really no point for us to keep the position uh, over the weekend because that's a very huge drop already all right um no it depends on the instruments that you are trading you don't need to look at volume so purely if you are doing at crypto um doing into let's say the forex or the oil all right we just focus into the price action the volume is not required here um i won't say that someone is manipulating i would think that because with automations with technology um, people speak a common language people who are they i can't really i don't know actually i can't really pinpoint to you it's just that in a lot of my programming all right um verse uh programming uh um work and consultancy work um we realize that the trading scope okay has changed all right so with automation it's so much easier for people people and i call that the aliens whom we really do not know to to behave in a very coherent manner and often these are not within the knowledge of the retailer so retailers are very different very opposite from where um the big boys are doing okay so so, so that's so far from from the few from the uh, consultancy and the programming work that i'm doing all right as well as um the the, the traits that we are doing okay you realize that the candles are really very different right now the price actions also very different um, it can be very very bullish one day and the next day it can just turn the other side and nothing really happened all right okay so um i i i know that there will always be a question of accuracy but i think the accuracy has to be mixed in with the reward to release all right so for example let's say uh you have entered this one say this is your w and then this is your r and you have entered here all right uh, which to us there will be no entry because there's a very very important resistance here all right then um, the fact that you are able let's say you make a loss the case one was lost ta, ta, all right now if you can enter this trade again to sell it you realize that both are one is wrong so that's one wrong one correct but this one in terms of that wrong right has tight loss whereas this in terms of its right has uh, um uh, a lot of profit here 
Okay, so very important is to measure that reward to risk of a method into the uh, with together with the number of times that is correct. Okay. All right, so let's uh, take a look at this one. So this is oil, as I mentioned. Take a look at this red color uh, arrows here. Okay, some are thick, some are arrows, all right? So what does this arrows or thicks tell us? It tells us the wash and rinse, okay? So all these are all the uh, wash lines, okay? So what we do is that we have a very um, a rather comprehensive system. Right. So, for example, I told you already that we trade in the multiple time frame. So, for us to go long oil is quite impossible because this one means that it is into a very strong resistance, which is the weak resistance. So, to buy here, we are hitting right into a resistance. In fact, that because of how we are cascading into the multiple time frame, all right, we are looking for a sell in oil. So oil has this red color arrow here. It just says that there was a wash and rinse. And then at the end of the bar, it confirms the wash and rinse. Okay, so this one was a wash and rinse here. All right, so which is a red color here. So there's a wash and rinse here, but this red color arrow here, right? You realize that it came a little bit later because it confirmed the wash and rinse, but the true wash and rinse was actually here. So this was the place that we saw. Like, uh, sorry, the pen doesn't want to move properly and around here. Okay, so um, please go and get Tor V3, okay? Because we have um, make it available for a free trial. All right, so we can get the free trial later. I'm just gonna give you the address and you can load it into your Meta Trader. All right, so you can have a plot of the Tor V3 for you, okay? All right, so let's continue. Okay, now um, this is Dow Jones, this is Dow. Right, so do, let's do a little bit of a revision here. All right, so did we manage to spot the um, sell in Dow? All right, or rather, did we manage to say that hey, Dow is gonna drop? Okay, I think that there was a wash and rinse earlier. For example, if you take a look at this place here, so we are able to say that price had a wash above this. Okay, but as long as price never never closed uh, below it, then there's still no wash and rinse. But at this point, there was a wash. Okay, a red color cell here for us to know that Dow is probably a little bit bearish. Along the way, we can start to see the drop. But even so, by trading with the higher time frame, which is what happened is in the week, right? We are not able to have any small sell signal. Why was that so? Because Dow was so weak according to our system, all right, that this long Dow was actually inevitable, okay? Meaning that it's so far... Um, able to let us know that there is no buy because it's all about sell for Dow here, okay? Now, one thing I want to bring up, okay, I want to bring up to you guys, okay, is that um, apart from uh, uh, looking at a system in terms of its accuracy, right, you realize that many times there is this red color arrow followed by a green color arrow now one is the flexibility of wash and rinse so for example under this red color arrow here right there was a little bit of a closed above the previous high so the system was able to spot that this was a possible wash bar and if price cannot stay above it so these will be the rinse as i explained that we are um, selling in the intra time, in intraday time frame, which is in the H1 or in the H4, right? But the flexibility of wash and rinse is that if you reverse it and take a look at what's happening here, so this would be our W for a buy. So I'm just going to use another color pen here because this down bar had a close below the previous low. So if it cannot stay below the wash line, so if it ever rinse back up, this would become a buy here. So this would be a green wash and rinse for us to buy this move. Okay, all right. How do we enter at the lower time frame after the big drop? So we we can't we don't really enter the lower time frame after the big drop. As I explained, we enter in midway or at the early start of this big drop here. That means that we let's say for example, if we detect that there could be a potential washer, all right? Our aim, our role is to enter somewhere around here, all right? So that we can get these big moves down, all 
right? We don't enter here, okay? Neither do we enter uh, after it. We just have to wait for another wash and rinse to happen, all right? Okay, so let me just continue this. Um, well, uh, the difference between a thick and an arrow uh, is not important, all right? So just remember, uh, we go color coding. So red is bearish wash and rinse, and then green is bullish wash and rinse, all right? Okay, so um, one of the questions I always ask and always, always hope to let you know is that please try to trade in a higher time frame. Okay, don't think that because um, I'm trading into the five minutes and then uh, unless you're scalping, okay, unless, unless your role, your, your, your objective is to scalp, but let's say, for example, if you like to um, get a big move, then the answer does not lie in the lower time frame. The answer is always to enter into the higher time, using the higher time frame and cascade down to the lower time frame. Okay, I think one of the consistent questions is always to ask me how to enter at the lower time frame. Uh, uh, that would be answered in module two. Okay, how do you know what's the TP to sell? Okay, so uh, for TP to sell, usually we use the average true range. All right, so I follow very much the day average true range. So I hope they'll be able to explain this in the next live streaming. All right, because today I just want to focus on what is wash and means. Okay, so this is the full um, system in Tor. So let me just explain these one by one. Okay, now this is a dashboard. As I explained, right, uh, I use a lot of automations. It is, it is tough to be constantly hunting for trade, especially if you're working. All right. So even for full time trader, I don't wish to be staring in front of the screen. I, I mean, I want the live. Right. So the lower time frame that we are using, as you can see in this dashboard here, is a four hour time frame. That means that we trade every four hours. All right. Whether it is oil or gold or crypto or forex or indexes, we are using the four hour with the condition of certain indices, we are using one hour as a fine tune to enter the trade. All right. Now, higher time frame would mean anything which is a day, a week. A lower time frame would mean we enter every four hourly or every one hourly. All right. So, for example, if you take a look at this one here, this is dashboard. So, this dashboard would automatically monitor the trade every four hours, meaning that every four hours, if there's a trade, it will let me know. Okay, so here the time that I've taken at this point was 101 p.m. All right, if you take a look at the signal in dollar sync, for example, it happens one minute ago, which means that this trade was ha happened at 1 p.m. All right, so therefore, what I will do is that our system, which is tall, all right, right now will trade, will have a trade potential. Singapore time, 2 p.m. That means that. Any, any time that's earlier, right, there won't be any trade that is relevant to us, okay? So the trade potentials will come in at 2 p.m., 6 p.m., all right, 10 p.m., and then 2 a.m., okay? So it means that every time like this huh, will be where we are waiting for the trade. So right now, time is 8.48 p.m. in Singapore. All right. This means that at 10 p.m., I might have a trade coming in to me and you'll be alerted by the Tor dashboard. So the Tor dashboard would send an alert to my mobile phone. OK, so this is how it, I'm trading. That means I'm not looking at the, 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 the monitor every day. All right. So this will explain why I have time okay, to even do the broadcast. It's interesting to me because I, th I think that by talking to people is interesting to me. All right. So but. By discovering certain things and sharing with you guys is something that I want to do also. All right, so 2 p.m., 6 p.m., 10 p.m., and 2 a.m. will be how we are trading. We are trading mainly into the forex, into the indices, into gold, and into oil, and as well as crypto. Okay, next question is that then do we trade in, let's say, uh, the stocks? Yes, I do. Okay, in the morning, um, it will be stocks. So for example, in the morning, my activity would be to look at the futures market for the Singapore. All right. So to, to, today was a sell market for us. 
and after that to be looking at the Hong Kong and at two I can focus into the Forex already because then the Hong Kong and Singapore is almost done with okay all right okay so this is the first tool that I'm using which is called, called, called the tall dashboard so um for example take a look at this arrow here so this was a bullish wash and rinse okay where is that wash so this place here was the wash okay all right because this is a bullish signal price had a closed below the previous low so at this place price had a closed above the wash line so this is how we treat the wash and rinse all right now this wash and rinse is good because the weekly time frame has again became green okay not magenta anymore green means bullish okay so then green all right so four hours means for example on the 4th october and on the 5th october all right at nine o'clock because it's before the daylight saving all right i receive a signal all right, for example to say that the dollar yen was bullish on a four hour close all right with the wash line here all right and at 9 p.m all right to go long so this is how um we trade mostly like this okay that means that our long signal will not be at the end of this candle here it is too slow the stop loss is going to be too wide but it's somewhere in the mid of this um long white candle here okay all right so let me just continue so one thing that you might want to incorporate into your trading is this automation here all right the next thing is that we trade mainly in the lower time frame which is the four hour and in the four hour we have this auto box where we box prices up so for example uh this is where we're gonna see the wash line so this was the wash line that was drawn okay remember this was the same dollar yen trade okay so this was the wash line so we we, we, we will see that in a four hour trade I know it can be a little bit difficult for you but the whole chunk here means that is a wash and wins that happened the bearish one and when price moved above it right we will be actually going long so at this bar so this is where the alert came in all right so let me just go through a few wash and wins right okay so this is a four hour bar but each box here is a day okay day so we are trading in a lower time frame but we are seeing what's happening in the higher time frame all right so if you can see this candle here it means that price had a closed above a previous high okay we are able to draw in the green line here which the indicator will automatically draw us the green line which is the wash line okay now as long as price don't stay above the wash line it goes below it like this bar here so that's where our sell signal and it came at 1 a.m all right so we don't know whether what time it will come but in this case it came at 1 a.m which is not too good for singapore time all right and australia time not too good but if you guys are in europe so that becomes a very good trading time for you guys because i have students in europe uh in us as well and in uh, many parts of asia okay now likewise here let's talk about here so i know that this is a four hour you might not be able to see it very carefully but if you focus on this bar here so this was that w because price had a close all right below a previous low so this was that previous low that we are talking about okay so this was the close below the previous low okay so if you realize that if price can be above it above the wash line all right then that becomes a buy so our buy signal came here okay at singapore time 1 a.m at that point of time on the 22nd of september so that was the point that we bought here okay at this candle here and and you know it continued to move up non-stop very nice trade okay so to sum up what we do is that in order to make sure we're going to have that explosive move we always always trade in a higher time frame higher time frame means in the day or in the week which in this case here tor system um Will, will be in the day and in the week okay now but we cascade the trade to fine tune that in the four hour time frame all right any question here okay now next question is wash and rinse a candlestick pattern the answer is no 
okay it is not because it is a lot more flexible now this was a trade that happened recently all right now do you see this long bar here yes now do you wish to capture this long bar yes right oh no you don't wish i mean if you were to sell yes or no do you want to be trading to make to, to if you sell to see this super long bar yes okay but let's do a bit of an exercise again can you and are you able to spot the wash and rinse which is the wash bar to result in the sell all right so let's continue to draw so the wash bar can be drawn by any line that had a closed above the previous high okay so for example let's talk about this one here one and zero we are able to draw in the wash bar all right so but too bad price didn't close below it subsequently no don't have let's talk about two then two versus one are we able to draw a wash line yes okay good all right then how about three versus two are we able to draw in the wash line yes okay now just to let you know the chart that i'm showing to you is a day chart as i explained all right a day is the one that's going to give us a lot of the movement all right okay so three and two all right we can draw a wash line and what happened at bar number four here what happened at bar i know that my wash line is not drawn very nicely but let me just draw that nicely for you what happened at bar number four yes here we go yes it closed below okay so therefore my shot was here you can see that i actually saw pound franc on the 18 all right and i didn't um you know really stare at my screen to make sure i sell it immediately i was actually out out a while and then i saw that price move back to the wash line and and then after that i saw that okay now so this was my entry price at that point of time all right and it took me a few days in fact that i was almost going to give up all right so if you take a look at trading what is the reality of trading to, to have this long bar down to have this type of profit it really needs a little bit of a um, endurance i would really say endurance all right because a lot of people would have given up this one here okay but to me because i have very strong conviction of this um you know uh wash line but at the same time what is the difference here i actually managed to sell right at the top okay so for wash and rinse it's a little bit different because then when you when you want to sell you are really selling near to the top and you want to buy you are really selling near to the bottom okay but with wash and rinse you're able to know how huge a movement is okay so let me just ask you one question one more question all right now focus on the blue line that i'm going to draw in all right focus on the blue line this is the blue line here okay all right so wash and rinse has a little bit more in terms of psychology all right now focus on the blue line on in the box that i'm drawing here now when this long black color happened okay and when price was about here all right can you please let me know how many days of candles have been washed and rinsed okay my question is this if you look at this black color candle here all right how many days of candles have been washed and rinsed remember these candles represent money people are actually trading inside here okay people are buying but when this very long black color candle happened what does it mean psychologically it means that many people 
have been washed and rinsed, right? How many days? Yes, I got the answer, eight. I didn't count, but I think that it's eight or it could be seven. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and if you count back, the black color candle is nine. Now, what is the meaning here? You want a big move? Then you want to make sure more people are trapped in that wash and rinse. Okay, so it is no reason why we had a big move last week to sell. COVID as the new, uh, this uh, Omicron could be a new variant, but it doesn't explain why a lot of price movement are all showing that the safe haven currency like franc like yen are all strengthening okay i'm not saying that we know about this variant i'm just saying that the market is there and the market could be already staging for it and the variant the, that the variant could be just an excuse okay so this this could be something for you to think about it but wash and rinse is quantifiable and it's very very important for me because the fact that it is quantifiable i'm able to have the conviction to say that i'm going to hold on to my trade all right so this is the reason why i held on to my trade which is about 200 pips already for this particular trade okay so 1.2477 was the place i shot it at that point of time, when I did the screen cap for you just now, all right, I have about $2,200 profit, all right, but I'm holding on to my trade. I know that there's a support here, but to me, all right, so this has been a huge wash and rinse already, all right, so that's why I stay on to this trade, okay? So um, please don't think that wash and rinse is a candlestick. It is not. It's a lot more flexible than that. But I just want to let you know so that you can use it, uh, I mean, uh, in your own or incorporate that into a method. Okay, but I mean, if you want, you can join me in the course since that the cost fee is fully refunded. Okay, so let me just go live. Okay, so let's check a little bit on the uh, what's happening right now. Okay, just just to just to share with you so this is the trade on pound franc meaning that um this is what we saw in the pound franc here all right do you see this uh small little circle here yes do you see that small little circle all right so this tell me that this candle had a washed above the previous high and then you will automatically draw this wash line here Okay, so uh, if you can get the free trial of Tor 3.0, you'll be able to um, get exactly what I have here, which is this set of uh, dots and a horizontal line with the arrow here. Okay, so just go and get the free trial. All right. Okay, then next would be um, the lower time frame. Okay, let me just switch the lower time frame to you. So this is where we trade the four hour. Okay, with the boxes and etc. All right. Um, do you see this uh green color line here? The green color line, this one. So that's the wash line. Okay. Now what we have is a dashboard. So I'm just gonna show you our dashboard here. All right. Um, why it doesn't refresh? Why it doesn't have the latest trade? Just for guys who are my students, I know that I can see a lot of you guys. Uh. Have, have attended the cause. You know, why isn't that it's being refreshed? Is because then the move is too huge for last week. Um, so the system are not uh, recognizing them as a possible wash. Okay, so the system is recognizing them as a valid movement. Okay, so we think that this uh, movement here could be quite substantial. That means that uh, unlikely to be a wash and rinse. Okay, so therefore the wash and rinse happened pound franc sell. Okay, happened 263 hours ago. Okay, from the current time. All right. So where is that bar that we traded that happens uh, in terms of the trade? 1.2488. Okay, so what are other trades that happened uh, last Friday? Was a buy in dollar cat and a sell in dollar franc and a sell in uh, dollar yen, for example. And some of the euros, um, long and buy mixed, and then some of the um, sell in the cat pass. Okay, so let's check out pound franc, for example. Here was um, pound franc. 
All right, so let me just get that for you. At 1.2488 was the, was the H4 close, which is actually our entry. Okay, 1.2488 was around here. Here, this one. So let me just mark that for you. So that's where exactly our signal came. Okay, so this was our signal. All right. Please don't go and guess how we traded this. Why? Because um, even though I can mark it nicely for you, but there, there's a lot more depth to it. Okay. As I told you, right, we search for wash and means in a specific location. So know all the wash and means will accept that. And then um, our trigger is also something um, that's uh, not easy to guess. So uh, please don't just guess. Okay. So just let you know, this is the wash and means and that's this the, the outcome of this trade here. Okay, so for example, uh, if you look at the, the, the dashboard, so what we do is that when we trade, we will just look at the dashboard. Okay, which one lights up? For example, um, it doesn't light up anymore, but then if there's trade that's very recent, it will light up in terms of orange color. All right, sorry, not orange color, yellow color. So it let us know that these, tra these are trades that happened very recently. Okay, so for example, I have one which is a dollar sing. So this trade, um, only the H1 uh, in terms of the H4 is not a very significant close. All right. So if you want, we can have a look at dollar sing. I also don't know what's the outcome for dollar sing. Okay. So we had dollar sing. We had um, potential wash. Okay. Let me just draw that. Do you see this potential wash here? All right. W. So we are just waiting for a more confirmed sell going down. Okay, but it's not happening yet. So we just have to wait for what happened later on. Okay, so what does dot mean? The dot uh, mm, indication to let you know that these are possible wash. Okay, possible wash bar. All right, so let me show you to you again, right? So for example, we had a trade in dollar yen. Okay, so this was our dollar yen trade. Okay, so let me just get it for you. Okay, so you see this uh, dollar yen? That happens on Friday. This dot here means that bar number one, oh, wait, uh, bar number one had a closed above zero. Okay, so a dot is being plotted to indicate to you that this one, one here, could be a W. So take note of it. All right, so you draw a horizontal line like this, which the line is automatically drawn. All right, and we flip the other side, that becomes a sell. Okay, so you can see, for example, dollar yen had a sell on Friday at this time here. Where was dollar yen? 83 hours ago at the price of 11486 was that sell bar. 11486. So where is 11486 here? So dollar yen 11486 was selling around here. Okay, so today the price is 11368. I mean, if you have sold 11486, that's good because then there will be a profit already. All right. Okay. Okay, so um, this is the dashboard. So our full system is a dashboard to alert you. All right, in December, we're going to launch the trade manager about mid of December. The trade manager will automatically manage our trade for us, automatically add in uh, position and open the trade. So this is something that we're going to incorporate a lot more automations because even for myself, I really need to have the automations because without the automations, you realize that many things cannot be done. With the automations, many things can be done as well. Okay, so this is how we treat that. Okay, so when entering with the lower time frame, how do we exit the trade? So we exit the trade based on the day signal, based on the H4 signal, um, based on the defined reward to risk. So all these will be covered in the paid module. Okay, so there's a lot more way for us to exit the trade. So unfortunately, I can't, I don't have time to mention here. All right, but um, as we use the day signal to point to us a trade, we use the day signal and the H4 signal to exit a trade. Okay. All right. Because today objective is I really wanted to talk a lot more about wash and means. All right. 
Should we use the trailing stop for the trade that is already in profit? You can use that. In the trade manager that we're going to launch, yes, there will be trolling stop. But again, is that trolling stop is a big word for me. What is the definition for that trolling stop? What kind of trolling are you going to apply? Okay, if you were to put a little bit more uh, too tight a trolling stop, you can't get that explosive movement. You can't have that um, a high reward to risk ratio. Okay, so yes, we are using trolling stop for the trade manager, but the trolling stop that we have is a little bit different, not a typical trolling stop, but yes. How do we activate the dashboard into the mobile alert? So all this would have been published in the dashboard web page that has been taught to you. All right, so please watch the video if you are our student. Okay, so that's there already. Okay, so let me just sum up just for me my, my own trading. I just wanted to share with you trading is not where you take a look and stare at the computer. It doesn't destroy your life. Okay, it should give you more money to enhance your life. It shouldn't send you to agony. All right, so the objective of what I'm trying to do is to bring to your knowledge about there is this wash and wins and the market is very vicious because when the wash happens, it can be that deceiving long bar, whether it's up or down. Okay, so today objective is to bring to attention. Now, if you want to ask me how you can get a lot of money, all right, many times a trade, you have to wait. You have to wait for that low hanging fruit to come. And this is what I'll do. All right, I know that all of us hate waiting. Therefore, we build in the automation. The dashboard is one of them. Okay, and I also hate where on hindsight, it looks so well, but then when you're actually trading it, it just doesn't show you that one plus one equal to two outcome. That's why all my trades are boxed up or with lines, with colors. Okay. Now, um, so if you want to know how to get a lot of pits, a lot of money, then you have to trade with the higher time frame. So this is something that you need to know. All right. And execute that in the lower time frame. Okay. Now, one thing is to incorporate automations into your system. Likewise, for example, our education has incorporated a lot of technology inside already. We need to incorporate automations into our trades already. So we are moving towards more automation with the trade manager that automatically manage your trade, automatically add in winning position for you. And that's going to be launched in December. All right. So, um, let me just finish this and then answer your question, okay? All right, now, in any case that you want to sign up for the course, all right, um, you can do two things, okay? Number one, please go to this website here, all right? So you can have the website here, right? And then you can get the course fee fully, fully refunded. The course fee is $700, okay? This would gives you the indicator. It will also gives you the knowledge. All right. And then it will gives you um, the weekly training by myself. All right. Of course, then we're going to have the traits that we might potentially be looking at. Okay. So it's like quite a very comprehensive program and it's $700 and it can be fully refunded into your trade account. Okay. How do, how to do that? Uh, number one, you have to take this module two. Okay. Module one right now is free of charge. Okay. It shows you what wash and rinse is about. All right, module one is free of charge. Please go and take that. It gives you a good overview of what wash and rinse and where to look at wash and rinse, where to hunt for that specific wash and rinse. I hope that it is going to be helpful for you. Okay, so module one is totally free. But if you want to know the nitty gritty, how to enter in the lower time frame, where to get the indicator, how to put your stop loss, where to put your uh, SL, and exactly what is the full wash and rinse then you have to take module two, all right? So what is included in module two, all right? These are the things that are included in module two, all right? So you're going to read it yourself and it's an online course, meaning that you can attend um, the recorded lesson anytime for as many times as you want. However, every week, we're going to have a live weekly webinars, okay? Twice every week, all right? Then we're going to have the Facebook support, you're going to be able to use the set of tall indicators that you've seen on my chart for 12 months. Okay. Now what happened after 12 months, huh? you still have the cost. All right. But, um, uh, you still have the cost. However, you can't use the indicator already. Okay. So how do you get the, uh, get it refunded? 
you have to uh, go to the website and then you have to apply an, a live account all right, with the broker. And once you achieve your volume requirement, they will put $700 cashed into your trade account. Okay, so if you look at my chart here, all right, the the um the um promotion has been extended, meaning that is no longer December. Oops. Okay, let me just draw that for you. It's not December, but it has been changed to December. Not October it has been changed to December already. Okay, so when do you need to pay for the cost fee by thirty first of December? I always like to put one day earlier and to say that you do it before the thirtieth of December. Okay, now when must I meet the volume requirement? Three months after thirty first December. Okay, one is the volume requirement, meaning that in order for the broker to pay that seven hundred dollars, you need to trade one or two standard law. It is not tough to achieve that. Okay, you, if you don't mind to lose the spread, you could open and close immediately, and then you can fulfill the lot size already. Meaning that open and close that. Um, you know, euro dollar, which is the tighter spreads. Open, close immediately, you lose the spread of 7 USD or to 10 or maybe to 15, and then you're going to get the, the $700 cash. Okay. Now, what happened after I meet the requirement? That means I open an account, I meet the volume, you just have to notify your trade manager, uh, your account manager, and when it will be the cash in your account within three business days after you have notified them. So it is that easy. Um, the indicators does not work in TradingView, probably because that I've built that as well. Uh, but TradingView is rest restrictive. Okay, it restricts 40 stocks to be scanned. So we are building our own set of um uh charts into the into the cloud with talk okay so there won't be any restriction all right when does the cost start and how long is the cost the cost starts anytime as long as you pay now you get access to the cost um immediately you get access to the indicator immediately all right um it doesn't end because it's an online cost you can um uh, assess the cost for as long as you want all right but the only thing is that there is this um support facebook support and this is webinar all right so by right the the support is is only 12 months okay 12 months uh which is this uh webinars okay but right now we are letting you guys attend for as long as you want that means that we are not remo removing you even after 12 months okay the only thing that will expire after 12 months is the indicator Okay, that means that this indicator will expire after 12 months and after 12 months, you have to pay, pay me a fee for the indicator. But if you don't want to use the indicators, that's fine. Because I presume that if you want to use the indicator, it means that you're profitable already. So we are charging the fee for that indicator. Okay, so can I renew the subscription after 12 months to get the indicator? Yes, you can. So it's 576. Will I be continue to bill for the cost? No, 700 is what you're going to pay me for the cost. That's all. And you can re reclaim back that money okay, from, from the broker. But if should you, after 12 months, want to continue with the indicators, then yes, you have to pay 576. Okay, so it's like it takes quite an effort to develop that. So therefore, we are charging for it. But let's say, for example, if you want to continue to attend our webinars, etc., by, by all means, okay, we are, you are not removed, all right? Um, is, is, is first, it's a credit, okay? But once you fulfill the volume, it becomes a cash, okay? So this cash is fully able to withdraw, okay? Meaning that, let's say, for example, you pay cash to me for the cost, right? So you tell the broker, okay, I want to take Bini's promotion. The brokers would put $700 into your, $700 as a credit into your account, trading account. Once you meet the volume requirement, then that credit will be converted into cash. I mean, in so far for 10 plus years that I work with the brokers, I have never seen this uh, great promotion going on. I got it actually by chance. Okay, really, really, really by chance. So do try to get it before 31st of December because initially it ends on 30, 31st of October. All right, but we managed to get it extended. So we are not sure whether it can be extended. In fact, that extension only came in um, about uh, 5th of November. Okay, so we managed to get it extended. So... Uh, I mean, if you're interested, 
go for it okay if you're not then it's fine all right so let me just continue okay that's all i have um let me just answer your question but in any case i'm just going to type down the link for you guys so that you can um go and um get my course if you want to okay and then if you don't want um then i give you a place to get the demo okay just give me a while so this is the link to go and get the course all right and then let me just show it to you okay so here we go so this one here is after the link you're gonna come to this page here all right so this page a few things to do okay um you can get the full module description here so this is the full module description for module one what is it about okay and then module two all right okay then um scroll down you're gonna have the conditions for this uh, full refund all right so there are two brokers here um the one in blue requires new account the one in red you can be existing account okay just read 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 the terms and condition all right so the minimum funding for blue berry is five thousand and the minimum funding uh is two thousand okay now after that for blueberry you trade one standard lot and then for xc you trade two standard lots and they have different uh promotion period but right now we are tagging the promotion to end at 31st of december all right so scroll down scroll down scroll down you can get the full full uh free course here all right sign up and if you want you get the free course uh the paid course here 700 dollars okay and then read the course faq um which one do you want to choose it's up to you you can take both also take both don't say i say one i take both and then claim from two i mean uh if i um, don't 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 claim already and then immediately withdraw your money this is not good all right they are really really very good brokers i work with them for a long long time okay so if there's anything all right you have a face to come to which is us and then if there's anything you let us know cc us and we make sure that it gets solved for you immediately okay so this is something where um i can assure you all right so as the okay let me just answer a few questions does it work on scalping m15 m5 um i've tried that i tried my scalping live it does but then it doesn't have that high um um probability okay partly because that inherently going into the lower time frame result in more noise therefore any system all right and tor is included as well in any system they suffer from that noise that happens in the lower time frame all right um so try not to use the lower time frame the lowest that i've encouraged to use is actually one hour we can be very profitable with four hours and one hour already so why do we have to scout okay we just have to learn how to sleep with our position all right um so wr doesn't have to be the same candle no w will be one candle r will be the subsequent candle the minimum candle will be two but it can be for as many as we want um is the trade manager free to the member yes any any indicator that we design or any expert advisor that we design under tor under the whole scope of tor all right will be in included without additional fee so let's say for example 700 dollars is what you pay all right and then six months later we came out with a new set of enhancement okay you still get that as long as you have that uh subscription which is a 12 months free alien room okay so after that after it expire all right you, you can you can don't need to renew anymore okay you get the knowledge but you just doesn't have the indicators okay um yeah it needs to be fresh funds okay fresh funds all the terms and conditions are here all right full tnc unfortunately it has to be fresh funds okay all right so let's get the free trial here so this is the free trial um so i'm just gonna send to everybody free trial because i'm running two streaming one is facebook one is uh not one is facebook one is youtube one is zoom this is the free trial okay now um there are actually two one is xc the other one is uh 
blueberry. If you want to get blueberry free trial, okay. So this is another free trial that is from different broker. All right, so you can go and get the free trial, which is Tor three point zero. Just sign up, uh, this, and then you get the free trial ready. Okay, Blueberry can work for MT four, MT five, and then XE can work in MT four only. All right, so you can just um get that free trial. Um, is there a time to complete module one before going module two? No, but then they are not tough to complete. Okay, so they're seriously not difficult. A lot of them are videos. Watch that. Mm, some videos are five minutes. Some videos are ten minutes. Um, I I don't think that it would take a long time. But um, I think what is more important is the weekly live webinar. Okay, so even though I make the course into online, but then in the weekly every Thursday. I'm going through the revision, going through how it is, etc. Because I can, I understand that it is tough for you to, um, especially if you don't have experience, for you to totally fully understand. So we are taking a quite a slow approach every time. Okay, and for me, I mean, um, if I talk for half an hour, one hour, as long as I don't need to write any new material, I'm happy to do that. So I can just keep on talking. It's fine. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of my time. Okay, uh, so that's why, you know, in all my course, in my course for talk course, right, I don't remove people from the live webinar. Okay, so as long as you sign for my course, you are still here. I think that my um, previous students or my students can attest to that. All right. What is the average buy sell signal in the month? Um, I would think it's a lot though. All right, so let me just share with you, for example, take a look at what happened on Friday. So we have um cat that came on Friday. Okay, this one on Friday. So we had the sell on Friday for cat yen and cat franc, then the euro cat buy, and then we have the euro long that's on Thursday, Friday. Then we have the series of pound, and then we have the dollar. Okay, so let me just roughly um go through to, to let you see the, the cat was sell. Give me a minute. Okay, the cat was a sell. Cat yen. Um, there's a long sell here. You can see easy there's a wash and rinse. All right. So let me just show you quickly where was our sell. Here. We saw here. Cat. Okay, so that's our sell in cat. So that's happened on Friday. Um my my students do get the cat trade. The the rest of you. I mean, which end of my course, I can see some of your names here. Okay, so that's the cat prank. So our sell was here. Um, Euro cat, we happened. And our buy was here. See the MAC line here. Okay, and then what other do we have? Dollar franc. So we had a dollar franc here. Um, that's our sell, this bar. Dollar yen. So that's our sell here. Um, dollar cat was a buy. And then we have a buy here. Aussie cat, um, the buy here didn't really move, and then Euro Aussie, um, the buy here, okay, would eh, no Euro Aussie where the buy was here, yes, correct, the buy was here, yeah, Pauline had a had a up, all right, yes, do we need to check for the news interest rate with Tor? Um, yes and no. Uh, usually if Tor right, is able to point to us, um uh about a week before the actual event why did tor spotted so many cat trades huh was because i think that in my lesson i talked about it already right on thursday i asked you guys to look out for cat all right was because cat next week uh, sorry this week is going to have the employment data so that's why i told my student we trade into cat and dollar okay so we were aiming for this too all right uh, we don't need to trade that, but we need to know what are the news that's happening. Yes, many, many opportunity last Friday and um, even earlier before that, we had the sell in the indices. Okay, so um, this was the indices. We had the sell here. Uh, I think I pointed out already, but we don't really have a buy. And then we have the US 500. Um, was also a sell. 
Okay, you can see that they tried to push. Okay, there was a series of resistance line here. Okay, even the last minute, this guy was a W. They tried to push. Okay, tried to push. Okay, so that was the watch line here. All right, then what we do is that we go to the lower time frame. Okay, and lower time frame, and then we just go to the H4, for example. Okay, and then you see the series of green color lines here. So this green color lines, green is sell, right? So that's the wash and rinse. And when price close below, we have to sell. Okay, so that's how we trade that. And the indexes is slightly different because we trade that in a one hour or four hour. Okay, um, are your weekly webinars, are they split in different groups uh, for students of different stages? Yes. So Tuesday would be where we look for trades ideas. Um, Thursday will be the new guys. But anyway, the old guys love to attend um, Thursday session as well. But I will keep the pace for Thursday strictly to the slow pace where we talk about simple, simple stuff. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So um, same thing. Let me just sum up. I'm just going to end the session because it's one and a half hour. Thanks a lot for joining. I just needed you guys, number one, if you're interested in wash and means, um, do get the free module, all right? And then if you can, go for the refund, okay? Um, it's, the, the students have refunded with cash into their trade account, okay? For, for guys who have uh, cash inside your account, just let me know so that, because a lot of people told me that, huh, sure, are you sure it's refunded? Um, you know, but it doesn't, uh, but do take note on the requirement for countries. Uh, certain countries are not refunded as well. Uh, I know that Australia is not, US is not, you know. Yeah, so. Is your course suitable for full-time trader? Yes, yeah, very, very suitable. New or full-time trader? I think I would love that full-time trader to take my course because then uh, uh, it's probably free, you, free yourself from a lot of uh, menial work, okay? Um... WR applicable for options trading. WR is applicable for the mother shares, meaning that for the stocks. Okay. Um, after that, you can use what happens in the stocks to put in your option strategies. I, I will answer it this way. All right. Um, I would think that um, I'm also doing stocks myself. Okay. It's just that during my training, etc. Uh, because of the opportunities and because of the automations, right? I'm focusing more into Forex, into indices, into cryptos and commodities. Uh, these are instruments that have a lot more opportunities with a lot less um, capital requirement, okay? Uh, but at times, I'll also be talking about stocks. I don't want to say that definitely it is... Um, something that I'm going to focus a lot on stocks, okay? But definitely can be used. Uh, in the modules, we also cover that. Uh, but uh, uh, do view us as, do view this course as learning an, another instrument, another alternative in, in options trading. I think that would be a better way to look at it, all right? Um, because it's refunded, the cost fee is refunded, um, it makes a lot of sense to open and then to consider uh, forex or indices or crypto. In fact, that in fact, I have to say uh, that um, last Monday or last Tuesday, we roughly know that the stock market is going to drop. Okay, because then we had the risk currency, all right, all dropping, and the uh, safe haven currency like the yen, the franc, all right, and and yen and Frank, these two, right, are all rising. So roughly, we know that the stock market is going to tank already, okay? Can I get the refund without signing for a cost? No, you can't. The broker would require you to give them a receipt or a membership profile. Without that, you can't get any refund, okay? So you have to sign for the cost. Yes, Malaysian can get a refund. Yes, no problem, okay? Um, but uh, Australian, um, US, these are countries that can't. Please read the uh, TNC here. All right. Um, any other questions? Let me just give you the link for the free trial. You can just go and get the free trial. 
Mm, yes. So th the step would be number one, use the link here to apply for the account. It's good that you can just fill in this form here. Fill in the form. Why? Because then you will get your broker's um, account manager details. Okay. Because we have a dedicated team to support um, our students, online Forex master Terrasic students. So if you go to the general line, right, they might not know what you're talking about because you have dedicated ac account manager to, to support this promotion. Okay. So it's good that you can fill in this form here so that you know, uh, you know that, um, you know, who is your account manager. All right. Then fill in the form, then you make the minimum funding 5,000 for this broker, 2,000 for this broker trade. The minimum standard lot okay um how to how to meet that quickly open and close immediately okay all right um i'll be one you can take your time learn it and then slowly do it also can okay and then after that send the receipt to your account manager your account manager will let you know um indicators uh work on other brokers also for paid version yes indicators work on on other brokers but okay one thing uh the trade manager that we're going to launch will be restricted to our selected brokers, okay? Partly because of the price fit issue. We have a lot of problems um, with the price fit, all right, that I have no choice but to restrict that. So this one I want to be open to you guys. Thanks a lot, Pauline, for saying very nice word for me, for us. <laughs> Pauline came from the stock background, actually, I remember her. Um, XE and BB Trading Perform FX stocks in different region commodities and crypto yes um xe has uh, u.s stocks but certain u.s stocks only the cfds but all of them will have fx commodities cryptos etc okay um what other questions any more okay no other questions or oh, you guys have last questions for me Pauline said you won't regret. Yeah, I think it's a very, very good cost. I mean, with that refund, yeah. How about spreads from the two brokers? They are excellent. I will really think so. Uh, if there's any issue with the spreads, okay, with the spreads, huh? and although any issue with the execution, you let me know, let us know. We will solve that for you. Because I have to explain to this one here, because all these two brokers huh, are using... Um, are passing your trades right to the liquidity provider, many liquidity provider. But sometimes um, the the they have a filter built uh, inside to prevent bad uh, bad feed coming in. But sometimes the filter is not hundred percent foolproof. Okay, all right. So therefore, sometimes it might just slip in the bad few. All right, but otherwise, uh, they are their spreads are really very competitive. Um, it's not the lowest, I have to say, but you have to, uh, for example, XC is the top 10 in terms of the world volume clearance, okay, because they clear a lot of institutional traders as well, top 10. Um, so therefore, you, uh, it's not the cheapest, okay, but you have to actually be very careful if a broker offers you cheap, 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 cheap spreads, all right? So they are not the cheapest, but they are very, very competitive already. Um, I've it really depends with which one because I have students who said that the they are more profitable with blueberries but I have students who told me that they are more profitable with XC um, I don't know I have both okay yeah okay um, thanks a lot for joining all right if you like to have a replay of today's session you can use the same YouTube link to go and watch the replay otherwise I will end the session here all right uh, Yes, XE is based on New York closing. Yes, BB also. Yes, both. Yes, they. In fact, uh, we have to use this specific broker. Uh, so if you're using other brokers, do let us know. We have to check that for you. Okay. Otherwise, Tor won't work. All right. Uh, and um, I will see you guys next time. I try to do uh, more streaming because uh, I hope that you know this is good sharing with you. And otherwise, uh, I'll please remember to subscribe to the channel. All right. I hope to reach one thousand very soon so that. Uh, I don't know. Everybody say 1,000. So that's my aim also. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye.